all three of them are, are already suffering, really quite obviously. I mean, Australia, we've got the RBA decision next, next week. Next week. Cutting, yep. for sure, as, as far as you know, we can tell. Mm -hmm. uh, and then probably a bit more after that. Mm -hmm. Korea, I mean, it just looks bad. Uh, the export side looks awful. The domestic economy looks terrible. And yet they may not low. cut tomorrow. Yeah, but they should. What I'm not allowed taking? to say that. They, the economy would really benefit from a cut. Let me put it that way. Um, it's so obvious now that a cut is coming that I really don't understand the rationale for leaving it uh, until July when the next meeting is. Mm -hmm. There'd be far more benefit to the economy from a cut now. And, and the arguments for not doing that seem to be wrapped up in terms of things like, oh, well, there might be capital flight, the one yeah, might, and might the weaken. Side. Good. This is the, 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 the monetary transmission mechanism at work. That's how you get your economy pushing up a little bit more. Capital flight, this is a, uh, a current account surplus country. It doesn't matter. But would you Do say it. that between the three, Japan is in the worst situation? Because they've been grappling with this uh, significant uh, you know, slowdown. Uh, where there's been no traction in the economy forever. Uh, the BOJ has run out of ammunition. I mean, they're talking about being in easing mode again for mm. a prolonged period of time. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, yen is seen as a safe haven trade. Uh, there's not much uh, leverage that they can uh, resort to. I don't know. I, I think Japan's doing, doing okay relative to, to the others in, in some respects. I mean, okay. the, 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 the growth numbers have actually been you know, back on GDP and, and the, is this important or not. But actually been all that bad for Japan, considering, you know, what, what it, it's likely to achieve at potential. Um, yeah, the BOJ goes hot and cold on doing more, more easing and then doesn't, and then talks about things like, well, actually, perhaps we should have a flexible interpretation of an inflation target. Yeah, for sure. 2% <laughs> was never sensible. <laughs> you should be aiming at Otherwise zero. Otherwise known as a moving target. Yeah. A moving target. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it, it raises a broader question about everybody else who's failing to achieve their inflation and still trying desperately hard to, to sort of get, to get, get somewhere. Which, yeah. when, when, the, when unemployment rates across the board, Japan's another good example, incredibly mm. low, mm. labour market nice and tight, why are we bothering? Mm. So yeah, it would be helpful if, if they, they stopped doing some so, of these things. So, so if, you look at the, if you look at Asia as a whole, mm. then w w where would you put your money? If you had to pick one country, where would you put it? That's a, that's a question I really should have anticipated in advance and haven't. <laughs> uh, it's it's e probably I mean, easier to do by process of elimination. I'll tell you, OK, so somewhere that doesn't well, appear to be... Do your process of elimination out loud, so we've got some okay, sense of well, what, what well, you like, what you don't. North, North Asia's suffering quite hard, a combination of the, the global tech slump, which I think is really important and usually overlooked uh, in preference of the trade war, but the trade war as well. Um, and Southeast Asia is often very heavily exposed to the semiconductor mm. uh, business with electronics, which again isn't yeah. helpful. So you've ruled out almost all of it. So you're looking around for well, where might actually do okay. Philippines springs to mind, growing nice and strongly. Uh, we've got some uh, accommodative monetary policy there. It's growing faster than China these days. So Vietnam? if I have to pick one. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of the ones that's often t put at the top of the list of, you know, if, if China really yeah. goes. I think long run story, if you're talking five years, it would certainly be in in my top three list there for, uh, for, for somewhere to look at. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.